जय गुरु हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू क्यू टी चैनल आई एम दीपेंद्र चटर्जी प्रेजेंटिंग दिस लेक्चर ऑन बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इंफॉर्मेशन नीडेड टू अंडरस्टैंड क्वांटम सर्किट एंड इट्स ऑपरेशन तो बिफोर गोइंग टू द मेन डिस्कशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन फॉर नोटिफिकेशन now in previous lectures i discussed quantum logic quantum gates and quantum logic circuit now to understand quantum circuit operations and measurement technique you need a certain level of mathematical maturity to understand this lecture series you need to know some basic knowledge on mathematics up to higher secondary level including complex numbers matrix algebra vectors and their properties and various mathematical operations so to understand the quantum operations you need some basic preliminary knowledge on linear vector space which provide some basic idea on basis of vectors orthogonality orthonormality inner product outer product trace of matrix hermitian matrix and eigen value and eigen vectors etc so here what is linear vector space i will discuss all those things in the next consecutive lectures so linear vector space or vector space is a n dimensional space it has own properties obey some rules it is a common platform of linear operations actually linear algebra needed for quantum physics need linear vector space the main elements of the vector space is vectors and operations like vectors n tuples of complex numbers is done in linear vector space actually linear algebra based on linear vector space properties now with the mathematical concept you also need to acquire some idea on quantum mechanics to understand this lecture series you need a clear concept of few terms of quantum mechanics such as state that is quantum state what what is state actually means state is situation of a isolated particle suppose a ball suppose a color of a ball is red and it is change its color from red to green if red is a state and green is another state now ball is change its color state from red to green so here basically the quantum state here basically state is quantum state and the states are energy states if energy is changed the state will be changed now we have need some idea on phase now it is a particular condition which is associated with state suppose quantum state represented by ket psi is equals to function of nu comma t that is frequency and time now so this is the initial phase of the state and sometimes it is called globe sometimes it is called global phase now you also need to know quantum logic i have already discussed in the lecture first lecture about quantum logic that is if here you can see if zero and one if zero represent off state and one represent on state in binary classical digital logic then ket 0 and ket 1 then ket 0 represent off state and ket 1 represent on state in quantum logic and superposition of states means combination of 
multiple state now suppose ket psi is a state if it is superposition of two states ket 0 and ket 1 which is alpha ket 0 plus beta ket 1 so it is superposition of two states ket 0 and ket 1 and also you need some idea on entanglement actually entanglement word means a complicated or compromising relationship or situation now here entanglement means quantum entanglement so in quantum entanglement state of two particles or more than two particles are correlated such a way that the state cannot be described completely without describing state of other particles so entanglement is basically a correlated function suppose if a particle state is 0 get 0 and now suppose this is a state okay so here if the first particle in state k 0 then must be the second particle in k 0 and if the first particle in k 1 state and then must be the second particle also in state k 1 so here you can see the state of the second particle is same as the state of the first particle so that is uh, the first particle and the second particle entangled with each other now you also need to know about four postulates of the quantum mechanics and also you need to know how to measure the state what is the bell state what is super dense coding and teleportation all these things are needed to understand the quantum circuit operations so here thank you guys and in the next consecutive lectures i will discuss about the topics of the mathematics which i have already mentioned in this lecture and also i will discuss about the topics of the quantum physics which i have already mentioned in this lecture